And it was two months ago today the tragedy struck Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut. Since then, there has been a dramatic increase in the number of people applying for the right to pack a gun. And many of those people are women. News 13's Victoria Dunkel explains why in tonight's special report, Girls with Guns. There seems to be like so socially a little bit more um, instability, I guess, and people are just a little more nervous about that kind of thing and trying to be precautious, I guess. Shooting ranges and gun courses are booking up fast these days. But it's my little pink pistol. Being a single mom and I was just, I want to be able to make sure that with, if any of the guns all changed, that I'd be able to have my gun. Stacy Clark and her mother are among the growing number of women taking gun safety courses and applying for permits, including concealed carry. Her mother, Susan, works in retail. She says increases in robberies brought her to this point. I think everybody should at least try to get protection as far as to be able to and be safe with it. Make sure that you know the gun laws and also that you practice with the gun and you know your gun. From the holster, five rounds. Jeff Stucker teaches the gun courses at On Target in Asheville. He says he had to add additional classes to meet the demand, and he has been seeing the class count go from about 10% women to up to 50% or more. People are worried that, you know, maybe the concealed carry law will change and they won't be able to get it anymore. A lot of it's fear that if I have a problem at home, I call the police. How long is it going to take them to get there? The devastating violence at Sandy Hook is just part of the reason for fear. Many people in our area are watching the increases in break-ins and wanting to make sure they can protect themselves. Virtually every county in the mountains reports an increase in the number of people applying for pistol permits and concealed carry permits. Buncombe County reported nearly 2,000 more applications for pistol permits in 2012 and 492 more for concealed carry permits. Henderson County reports a more than 125 percent increase in gun permit applications comparing January to January from 2011 to this year. So I, I fully respect and understand people's want and need for their own security to have a firearm in the house and have a plan to keep themselves safe. But Buncombe County Sheriff Van Duncan is quick to remind everyone the right to bear arms comes with responsibilities. And if I had to put it in percentages, being able to work the firearm, being able to work it under stress, being able to hit a target under stress, if you can do all those things, you've done about 10 percent of what you need to do to really be responsible and effective in concealed carry. That's why the law requires that you go through the courses. Not only does the course involve understanding the laws and your rights as a gun owner, it also includes a detailed explanation of your gun, how to use it safely, and maintain it safely. Then you have to practice making the target. I love to see this many people in there. Um, these are people who are law abiding, who I would feel so comfortable seeing carrying a weapon. It's the people that don't go through this sort of training, who have no regard for the law, and those are the people that are, you know, causing problems. The spike in applications for pistol and concealed carry permits is leading to a backlog in the processing in some counties. Buncombe County says it is running fairly close to the typical 60 to 90 days, and that is the typical wait time in Henderson County, too. But with the increase in interest, the sheriff's office there is not making appointments for concealed carry permit applications until mid-May and beyond. Back to you.